Good evening aspirants, welcome to daily editorial analysis brought you by Shankar IAS Academy. In this video, we are going to discuss two important editorial articles from today's newspaper. The first article is about the impact of urban growth on Himalayas and the next article is about the recent heat waves in Antarctica. These two articles are very important for our mains exam. Now let us get into the discussion. Today we are going to discuss two important editorial articles. This is the first article. Look at this. This is a shocking news. Indian Himalayan range has witnessed an unprecedented urban growth of over 40% in the last decade. That is from 2011 to 2021, there was 40% of urban growth in Himalayan region. This dramatic increase spans across 11 states and two union territories. This highlights a significant shift in demographic and infrastructure of Himalayas. The surge in urbanization reflects the growing economic and developmental activity in this mountainous area. So this poses both opportunities and challenges for sustainable development in Himalayas. So in this context, let us see the impacts of urban development in Himalayas and what are the measures taken regarding it. Now let us get into the discussion. Firstly, what can be the impacts of urban development in Indian Himalayan range? The urban development in Himalayan ranges has various impacts and it can be analyzed from different perspectives. First is environmental impact. The expansion of urban areas often leads to deforestation resulting in the loss of critical habitats for wildlife and also leads to disruption of biodiversity. Next about soil erosion and landslides. The construction activities and deforestation can increase soil erosion making the region more susceptible to landslides which can threaten lives and infrastructure. The urbanization can lead to over extraction of water resources and also pollution of rivers and streams. So this impact the availability and the quality of water for both residents and ecosystems. So this is in terms of environment perspective. Now let us see the socio-economic impacts. The urban development can increase the economic growth through increased investment and in job creation and infrastructure development. So this improves the standard of living and provide better access to services for the people living in this region. The growth of urban areas may attract people from rural regions leading to demographic shift and potentially increasing the pressure on urban services and infrastructure. The influx of new residents and modernization can alter traditional lifestyles and cultural practices potentially leading to cultural homogenization or loss of heritage. So this is in terms of socio-economic impact. Now let us see the infrastructure development. The urban growth often improves the development of infrastructure such as road, building and utilities which improve the connectivity in this area. This will be beneficial both to the border security forces and also to the residents living in these areas. The rapid urbanization can increase pressure on services such as healthcare, education and waste management which should be handled carefully. Next in terms of climate change impact. Urbanization typically increases the energy consumption and greenhouse gas emissions contributing to the climate change. The Himalayan region being sensitive to climate change may experience accelerated glacial melting and also alter the weather patterns. So there is possibility of increased carbon footprint in Himalayas due to this rapid urban growth. Then there will be increased vulnerability to natural disasters. Urban development in high risk areas can increase the vulnerability to natural disaster such as earthquake, flood and landslides. For example, the recent land subsidence in Joshimath region. So the urban development in Himalayan region brings both opportunities and challenges. Now let us see some measures to address these issues. First is planning. Through planning, we can frame a sustainable development and we can ensure a healthy carrying capacity of the region. Here the carrying capacity means the capacity of environment to hold a particular quantity of population. So by maintaining a healthy carrying capacity will help us in reducing the pressure on land. Next is hazard mapping. This will help to plan the settlement in regions vulnerable to disaster and it will be useful in monitoring these regions. Next is biodiversity conservation. Establishment of national park and species targeted programs can preserve the biodiversity of this region even after the rapid economic growth. For example, the Great Himalayan National Park Project Snow Leopard should be implemented carefully. Next about the measures for forest conservation. See, the forest can absorb the rainwater and can prevent landslides. So strengthening the forest ecosystem is very important measure to address this impact of urban growth. Schemes like National Afforestation Program and Green India Mission should be implemented. In this regard, let us see some government initiatives for Himalayas. First is Indian Himalayas Climate Adaptation Program. The objective is resilience building of vulnerable communities in Indian Himalayas. Next is Secure Himalaya Project. 
It is funded by Global Environment Facility. This is to promote the alpine pastures and forest in high altitude of Himalayas. So these are some important government initiatives regarding Himalayan ecosystem. So with this, let us conclude this discussion. In this discussion, we have seen what are the impacts of urban growth in Himalayas, what are the measures that should be taken and what are the government initiatives regarding it. With this, let us move on to the next news article discussion. Now look at this article, Antarctica is experiencing an unprecedented heat wave during its winter season for the second time in last two years. The temperatures have been 10 degrees Celsius higher on normal average and some areas even have 28 degrees Celsius higher temperature. So this unusually high temperature highlight broader climate change impacts and it is affecting even the coldest regions of the world. So in this context, let us know the basics of heat waves and important aspects regarding it. Firstly, let us see what are heat waves. According to Indian Meteorological Department, heat waves are periods of high temperature as compared to what is normally expected. The criteria for heat wave in India is at least 40 degrees Celsius for plains and 37 degrees Celsius in coastal areas and at least 30 degrees Celsius for hilly regions. So this is the criteria for heat wave in India. According to National Disaster Management Authority, it occurs during the summer season in northwestern parts of India. Now what are the reasons for heat waves? The important reason is high pressure system. When high pressure systems settle over an area, they suppress cloud formation, trap the heat at the surface leading to rising temperature. Then large scale weather patterns. Global weather patterns can also influence the regional climates. For example, a shift in wind pattern can bring hot air masses to particular area. Then another important reason is climate change. Rising global temperature due to climate change contribute to more frequent and intense heat waves. So this is what we have seen in the news article. Antarctica has been experiencing intense heat waves due to climate change. Now what is Antarctica deep water heat wave? This term refers to unusual and significant increase in ocean temperatures at a deeper levels of southern ocean, particularly around Antarctica. These are also called as bottom marine heat waves and it can be devastating because they last longer than surface heat waves. Now what are the reasons for heat wave occurrence in Antarctica? The major reason is weakening of polar vortex. Polar vortex is a band of cold air and low pressure system that surrounds the poles of earth. It present in stratosphere. The polar vortex typically stays strong during southern hemisphere's winter trapping cold air over Antarctica and keeping warmer air out. However, this year the vortex was disturbed which allowed the cold air to escape and warmer air to enter the region. So this disruption of polar vortex has led to intense heat waves in Antarctica. The next important reason is a reduction of sea ice. Sea ice play a crucial role in keeping temperatures in polar regions. So a reduction in sea ice means increase in temperature in these regions. Then another important reason is impact of global warming. According to 2023 study published in journal Nature, the Antarctic is warming at a rate of 0.22 degrees Celsius per decade almost twice as fast as the rest of the world. So according to this study, the Antarctica is warming much faster than the rest of the world. Now let us see the challenges arising because of heat wave at Antarctica. The most important challenges rise in sea level. Antarctica's hot winter will likely lead to further losses of Antarctic ice sheet and can potentially rise the global sea level by hundreds of feet. The Antarctic ice sheet, which is a glacier, holds more than 60% of world's total freshwater and if it is entirely melted, it can submerge coastal ecosystem and reshape the world's map. It also leads to displacement of population and it affects the ocean circulatory system. This will lead to impact on fish reproduction, geographic ranges, migration patterns and food availability. So these are the major impacts of this heat wave in Antarctica. Now what can be the solutions? Investing in renewable energy, proper planning and policy making, urban greening, heat resistant infrastructure, passive cooling, these are important solutions which can be recommended for this issue. So in this discussion, we have seen about Antarctic heat wave, what are its impacts and what are the reasons for it. With this, let us conclude this discussion. If you like the video, please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to Shankarai's Academy YouTube channel. Thank you.